Well, here's the newest acquisition. Um, uh, my buddy Sam has requested this video. I picked this thing up from him. I traded a C121 for this. It's a little bit of cash on, on his end. Um, very nice B100. I, the only reason I wanted the B100 over the C121 uh, was just because I have the B80. And honestly, it, this thing's not going to see a ton of work. It'll see a little bit, but it's nothing that I really need a C series for. I think the B, B series is plenty fine. I, I, I really, like I said, I really enjoy my uh, B80. Um, but here she is, just a general overview. Got some little 25 pounders in the rear, nothing special. Uh, got some really cool front weights. I think these are off of a Craftsman. Uh, so that's really neat. Um, I mounted my mid, mid mount grader blade on. I gotta say, uh, I like running the mid mount on a manual controlled uh, tractor more than the hydro. If you know, I have that Charger 12 and the grader blade was bought for that, but I'll be honest with you, I like it better on this machine. I've already used it on this tractor more. I'm just a huge fan of eight speeds in general. That hydros, it works as, as advertised from the factory. It's probably perfect, uh, but I'm not as big of a fan. Um, she already got a little muddy. I had to do a little bit of grading. Um, so I figured after I, I ran it for a little while, I'd show it to you guys. Uh, but here she is, just a little B100. Um, this thing's mowed. This thing's had a lot of attachments on it from him. I put this seat on my usual cushy high back seat. That works good. It looks like it's too close to the steering wheel, but I'm short, so it fits me perfectly. Um, it's still good plow mounts in the rear, no leaks. Uh, Sam takes incredibly good care of his stuff. Um, my 520 loader is also from him, and you could just tell the level of detail that he puts into puts into things. So this is a pretty cool machine. I remember a couple years ago when he asked if uh, he asked me if I if I thought he should buy it. <laughs> glad he did now that i ended up with it and honestly i probably won't be partnering with this this is the first wheel horse of 2020 um so as long as shit doesn't hit the fan i'm probably gonna hang on to it so as far as i could tell between the bc series is the dash tower is a little different like the whole body's a little different uh and the hood's a little bit longer but the frame motors trannies i think they're all the same I, if, if i'm wrong please let me know i don't know if the lights work we can try that hey they do sweet that's a cool picture right there. Get you a good picture of that. That's a nice picture. I'll be the uh, the actual, uh, what's it called there for this video? Um, the uh, thumbnail. But there she is. She runs good, a little 10 horse for now. Uh, I might upgrade it to a 16 or a 14 or a 12 or something like that down the line, but it runs so good. I don't think I'm uh, gonna have any problems with that. Um, so, yeah, just got some Carlisle Ags on the back of it. I traded him a set of Carlisle Ags on the C121, so it was a pretty fair, even trade, I'd say. Uh, but, yeah, that's about it, guys. So, there you go. And if you want a review on that mid-mount, please let me know. By all means, I will 100% do that for you guys.